All about reptiles. Scientists have divided all animals on Earth into two groups, those with backbones and those without backbones. Animals with backbones are called vertebrates, and animals without backbones are called invertebrates. The vertebrate group is broken down into five categories. Mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, and amphibians. Animals are put into each group based on traits or characteristics that they share. This is called classification. Each group of animals has its own unique traits, but some groups also share one or more of the same traits. For example, amphibians and reptiles are both cold-blooded. Fish and birds both lay eggs, and birds and mammals are both warm-blooded. While each of these groups have some similarities, they also have some differences. Amphibians have smooth, moist skin, while reptiles have dry, hard, scaly skin. Mammals are warm-blooded, but reptiles are cold-blooded. Birds have wings and live on land, while fish have gills and live in the water. Scientists group animals into different classes to make it easier to study them. There is a lot to learn about all five animal groups, but in this video, we're going to learn about reptiles. The reptile group is one of the largest animal groups on Earth. This group includes snakes, lizards, turtles, alligators, and more. All reptiles are vertebrates because they have backbones. Reptiles are also cold-blooded. That means that a reptile's internal body temperature is the same as the air temperature. Their body temperature changes depending on how hot or cold it is. You, on the other hand, are warm-blooded because you are a mammal. Warm-blooded means that your body temperature stays the same regardless if it's cold or hot around you. The only time your body temperature changes is if you're sick or have a fever. Warm-blooded animals use a lot of energy from the food they eat to help maintain a constant body temperature and generate heat for themselves. But cold-blooded reptiles can't generate their own body heat, so they don't need to eat as much as warm-blooded animals. Instead, Reptiles rely on outside resources for heat. For example, lizards and snakes lay on warm rocks out in the sun to keep warm. Reptiles have very dry skin, but they don't need lotion. Their dry skin helps them hold in moisture so they can live in dry places. Reptiles also have scales made of a strong material called keratin. Keratin is the same material that your fingernails are made of. Scales help protect reptiles. They make it difficult for a predator to bite or attack them. Some reptiles, like snakes, have scales that are smooth. Other animals, like turtles and crocodiles, have special scales called scutes. They are very thick and feel like bone. Lizard scales come in many different shapes and sizes. Some lizards have scales called lamellae that grow on the bottom of their feet and help them climb different surfaces. Many reptiles shed their scales or skin. Snakes shed their skin each time they get bigger and outgrow their old skin. Snakes also shed to remove parasites that may have attached to their old skin. Some reptiles, like chameleons, can even change their skin colors. They use their colors to communicate with other chameleons. Also, if the chameleon is cold, it can change its skin to a darker color to help it absorb more heat from the sun. Or it can change its skin to a lighter color when it needs to cool down. How cool is that? This is similar to your wearing a black or white shirt in the sun. The black shirt will absorb a lot more heat, making you feel hotter. 
but the white shirt will reflect the sun's rays and help you feel cooler. Another trait of reptiles is that most of them lay eggs to produce baby reptiles. These eggs kind of look and feel like rubber. There is a small percentage of snakes and lizards that do not lay eggs and instead give birth to live offspring. These include garter snakes, boa snakes, the very poisonous viper snake, and a few others. A few species of small lizards called skinks also give birth to live young. Mammal offspring, like human babies, puppies, or kittens, need a parent to look after them once they are born. But a reptile offspring can live on their own right after birth. They do not need a parent to look after them. The baby reptile is responsible to find its own food and take care of itself. A mother sea turtle lays her eggs in the sand. She then buries the eggs with more sand to hide the nest from predators. Once the hatchlings are born, they must then dig their way out of the nest. This can take them days or even a week. After that, the hatchlings must make their way to the ocean. This process can be very dangerous because they are out in the open and vulnerable to predators. And many hatchlings don't make it to adulthood. Reptiles use lungs to breathe, just like you do. They have four short legs, and many times there are claws on their feet. Some reptiles, like snakes, do not have legs. Reptiles do not have outer ears. Instead, they have inner ears, covered by a tiny flap of skin behind their eyes. Snakes rely largely on the vibrations they feel instead of what they hear. Snakes and lizards also use their tongues to smell. One interesting reptile, called a gecko, is a type of lizard. It cannot blink because it has no eyelids. And if a predator grabs their tail, the gecko will detach it. The tail will then continue to wriggle around, distracting the predator long enough for the gecko to get away. The gecko can then regrow a new tail within 30 days. Alligators look similar to a lizard, just a whole lot bigger. Some alligators can grow 15 feet long and swim as fast as 20 miles per hour. And did you know that most of the dinosaurs of prehistoric times were reptiles? Reptiles live on all continents except Antarctica. Those that live in cold climates do something similar to hibernation called brumation. As it begins to turn colder, reptiles like lizards, tortoises, turtles, and snakes will seek out a warm, comfortable place like under a log, where they can rest for the winter. Their metabolisms slow way down to save energy for the coming year. They do not eat, drink, go to the bathroom, or move for several weeks. However, snakes are a bit different. They don't eat, but they do drink water and will move to a water source when needed. Reptiles are just one group of animals that live all over the world. Some live in warm climates, while others live in cold climates. Some live on land and others in water. If you could have a reptile for a pet, which one would you choose? Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.